Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pirate here, and in today's fun project video, we're going to be installing an air assist kit for my longer Ray 5 laser engraver slash cutter. Really, really cool. Longer just reached out to me and wanted to send me one to put onto my laser engraver. They had seen some of the projects over on my Instagram page that I had been making and said that this will hopefully help produce even better and more quality results on it. I've got a lot of amazing results on it. And like I said, I've had it about a year. They sent the original ones out to several content creators to review to show how easy it was to unbox it put it together, dial it in, and get to going in just a couple hours right out of the box. And I have been using the Laser Gerbil software, which is a free software that comes with the um, engraver when you get it. But I wanted to use Lightburn. After going on several boards and everything, everybody said Lightburn was the go-to. And I downloaded it, and it was gibberish to me. I am not tech savvy in any way, shape, or form. I know how to do social media, of course, and the YouTube videos here. But after that, it's kind of a blank slate for me. So my good friend Sam at Nighthood Creations came down from Roxburgh, North Carolina, about an hour away, and gave me a one-day crash course on how to use Lightburn, and we were knocking out projects right away. Thank you so much, buddy, for showing me that. But after posting a couple of those projects, that is when Longer reached out to me to send me the Air Assist Kit. And it's here in the workshop. Now, when it got here, I was excited, ran out here to put it on immediately, and one of the parts did not add up. And I'm about to show it to you guys, and it is this piece here. Keep in mind, I have an original factory Ray 5 laser engraver. They now offer the 5 watt and a 10 watt version. And unfortunately, this piece is for the 10 watt version. And you see there where the air hose will connect and be held in place, and then the air will shoot down through the funnel to hopefully produce even better and more beautiful cuts on the engraver. I uh, took some pictures showing where it didn't match up and sent it to longer, and their customer service is amazing. They will get back to you immediately and try to help you with anything they can. They also have some support groups over on Facebook, but really, really cool. I reached out to my contact person there, and they sent me a free um, STL file to print out the correct piece and here it is printed out of white PLA filament now that we have everything we can actually go over to the engraver and install it properly and I want to document the process which is the reason for this video but after my buddy Sam left uh, a couple days later I came out and made this on the laser engraver keep in mind through all this this is the 5 watt version of the Ray 5 but really really cool I made this Christmas themed train beautiful details look inside the cab at all of the amazing detail and here is the tender that goes with the train and then there's also a nice caboose here there's actually a couple more cars that go with this to complete the Christmas train consist and if anyone would like to see a video after we get the air assist kit installed on it please let me know and I'll be happy to make a video finishing up this Christmas train but we since we've got everything let's move the camera over to the Ray 5 laser engraver and install our air assist kit. Let's get started. And we're going to bring all of our pieces here and unbox everything. There you see the air pump itself and it does not have a toggle switch to turn it on or off. Once you plug it up it starts and then when you are done using it you just have to simply unplug it. I'm going to begin here by removing the shield here and unscrewing these four screws here to remove this shield and once this shield here is removed we will put it aside it will not be put back on the laser that is where our 3d printed part will go and I spent more time putting the screws in and taking the screws out than I did actually installing the air assist it was more time with the screws here and the small parts and my hands didn't work well together but I got everything done and everything lined up perfectly this 3D printed part fit right into place. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. And once this final screw is installed, I will hook up the air hose and quickly blow in it to make sure there's no clogs or kinks in it. And now I'll reattach the shield with the two screws here and then we can begin the process of snaking the air hose back to the air pump and there's not enough air hose here for me to have the pump on the side I have it here so I will be rearranging everything 
later on to better accommodate everything. And when you're snaking the air hose through, keep in mind and be mindful to leave some excess at the actual laser head so you will have room to raise and lower the laser according to whatever thickness of material you are cutting. But just going through here and hooking up all the zip ties and I'm lightly tightening them down. You don't want to crimp or compact the air hose for the airflow. And you do have to cut off a small two or three inch section of the air hose to attach it to the toggle piece which I'm doing here and then it will connect to the air hose and you will see me moving the pump again and now attaching it and everything is ready for a test run and I'm gonna cut out just two small hexagons on the Ray 5 with three passes with three millimeter plywood I'm gonna do one with the air off which I'm doing here and then I will move it and reframe it and cut out the same shape with the same number of passes with the air hose on and as you can see my exhaust fan behind the laser is easily sucking out 90 percent of the fumes but very easy to install air assist on the longer Ray 5 laser engraver 5 watt version And that is how easy it is to install and assemble the air assist kit on the longer Ray 5 5 watt laser cutter engraver. Again, keep that in mind. That is why we had to go with the aftermarket funnel piece to snake into there and connect. But everything lined up perfectly and it was a file, an STL file that Longer sent to me to 3D print and it came out great and sturdy but really, really cool. The piece we done here today was just a sample just to see how everything was going to work and flow together. And I've done it on this scrap piece of 3mm plywood. It's just a piece from the train that I made and again if anybody would want to see me finish out the Christmas train cut out the final two cars for it on video I'd be happy to document that and show you how easy everything goes together on video but really really cool here is the two little shapes we cut out you see there is one and there is two it came out great on the front and there's only a slight bit of charring on the back again we done one with and without the air assist I know what would really step up my game is to get a honeycomb spoil board for the back that kind of elevates the piece up from just the base of the laser engraver which is just a piece of plywood I've got there to know it is perfectly flat it's uh, MDF quality it's not MDF but it's I think it's something of that nature but it's what I've got and I've got that exhaust fan and it sucks out all the fumes and I have a fan blowing in front of the laser to push everything back toward the exhaust fan but a honeycomb spoil board I think would eliminate all of the charring on the back it just with it being close to Christmas I've got to save my money for presents for the family and all and maybe I'll treat myself after Christmas and get me the honeycomb spoil board maybe I know that will help everything but it came out great the two little shapes that we cut out really really came out fantastic and I'm gonna to try to do it where the numbers are showing here we have the number one and two you can easily tell that that is a hexagon and really amazing and it done both of these again one with air one without in about five minutes you know for both of them you know and I just reached over there and toggled the air on and off but really really amazing I'm really looking forward to the amazing creations that I can do now that I have this and I've learned more with Lightburn software and once again thank you to Sam at Nighthood Creations for coming down and giving me a one-day crash course on it thank you so much for that buddy I am forever grateful for that for elevating me and my area of work and hopefully I was able to elevate you with some of the scroll saw tips that I showed you but really really cool I hope you all like the video if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at artisan pirate links to all my social medias as well as ways to contact me will always be linked down in the description box below these videos that's about all for this one and remember guys if I can make it or do it so can you I'm the artisan pirate take care and I'll see you guys real soon